Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to The Sims. So I figured out how to pick up the robot. I'm sure people left messages, but since I recorded this one in the last episode on the same day, I figured it out myself! I'm an accomplishment! So let's put this stupid little robot, I mean amazing robot, Felix Fartbottom. Where are we going to put him? I want to put him somewhere for the kids to enjoy. I kind of want Jellyfields to move out of here so we can put some toys in here for the kids. Because I really don't want them playing in here. This seems like a really bad place for a kid to play in the workshop area. I will put it right there. Hey, guess what, granddaughter? I made you a robot. Its name is... Oh, you're sleeping. Wake up. I made you a robot. You want to fight, kid? I can take you. Aw, you're adorable. Now play with your robot. Teach it to kill humans. Oh, sorry, I'm sick. Oh, dear. You know what, Super Paul? You need some rest. Go back to bed. <laughs> Look at Sweet Senate Dream jamming to the radio. I made you a robot, though. Play with the fart bottom. She's mad at the wall. She's like, no! I want to jam over there! Oh, yeah, hell yeah? Come on, get your creative pursuits going, little kid. She's like, I'm going to draw. What are you going to draw? I want to know. <laughs> It's gonna be like a bird. Draw Phoenix. Draw Harry Potter. Draw Star Wars. Don't eat the crayon. That is not food, girl. That's abstract art. Um, sorry, kid. I don't really get abstract art. Nice try, though. If you keep it up, you'll be able to. Well, I can't draw much better than that. Serian's brought a friend home. Who's that? Boobs McGee. Mary Sue Pleasant. She's married. Well, Serian isn't. I forgot. Sir Ian! Dude! What the fuck? Somebody told me she's married. I don't know if she is or not. What I do know is that Sir Ian's got a kid with someone else here. So what are you going to do? Sir Ian, go to the bathroom? Look at that old lady. Denise is judging you. Denise is like, I know what you did, Sir Ian. Either that or she wanted some too. She was just like, hi, maybe you could put some... Sorry, get out of here, shriveled old lady. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Sirian, go use the bathroom. You know where the bathroom is. We got two bathrooms, bro. Hit one up. Dude, you know how to use the bathroom. Oh, the problem is he wants to go hold... Sweet set of dream? Earl's grades are improving. Hell yeah, go Earl. Earl came home with a B plus after one day at school. Who's the little doggy? Hello, you little bitch. Get back here. What's your name? Your name is Pepper? Pause in the damn game because I'm going to find out. Your name is Pepper and you have a real derp face. He's like, whoa, that's real. That's a lot of judgment there, Super Paul. That it was really rough. <laughs> All right, Earl wants to sell lemonade, play catch, catch a bunch of flies, and go roller skating. Is that your homework, Earl? You should do that. No, no. Do do your homework, kid. You wanted an A plus. Oh, he doesn't care about the A plus anymore. He's like, fuck that! I've got video games and online porn. Earl, you're too young for video games. <laughs> Serian, you really have to use my bathroom. <laughs> Watch Grandma get drunk there, sweet set of dream. Jellyfields is like, what? I can handle my limit. Oh, Jellyfields is home. Super Paul, go get some. What the hell are you doing, dumbass? As your flame's no longer family friend, Luke's like, hey, we never talk anymore, Jellyfields. I could invite him over, but... Syrian, do not look at me with wanting love and kisses. Super Paul, get up.
Oh man, I want to do it with my lady. She's all busy in the bathtub though. Hey, Syrian. Nobody played with my robot. Fine, I'm gonna play with my robot by myself. Everybody's competing to hold, sweet sounded. Could you please move? You're not playing with my robot, stupid butler. Nobody else is gonna play with this. Hey, Felix Fartbottom. <laughs> oh, what a great robot! <laughs> oh, you farted on my hand, you. With real fart sounds and smells. I think the kids in the house are like, Grandpa Paul, that is a really dumb toy. <laughs> Earl's probably like, Dad, did you make a dildo? That is not a dildo. Despite what your mother says. Super Paul really seems to like that. <laughs> a little so, a little too much. So much so that it's a little embarrassing. Oh my god! Angel Cake has been promoted to lab assistant. Cleaning rat cages, fixing delicate lab equipment for minimum wage. How's your mood today? A lot of logic skill building time is needed at home to advance. And guess what? You're on the graveyard shift working all night, sleep all day. Sweet. Well done, Angel Cake. Um, I guess Paranormal Penguin's available to talk. Somebody must have called on the phone. Ooh, wait, there's Super Paul, you want some lovin'? Go flirt with that girl. Turn off the TV and go get some. Angel Cake, you can push the butler down. I'm totally okay with that. Hey baby, we're in the love room, and I would love to touch you in the lady zone. Oh yeah, how about some hugging? Super Paul, get some. Jellyfields, you complete me. Where's our kid? <laughs> Super Paul wants to juggle for some dumb reason. Mary Sue Pleasant, you better not be doing sex in my bed with Sirian. Can't believe you guys making out. He's probably having an office romance. Holy crap. Super Paul, damn. <laughs> Oh, it's raining. For a moment, I thought it was raining inside. Go take a crap, Super Paul. It's all good. It's only paranormal penguin. All right, use the other bathroom. Earl, you better be doing your homework. Uh, why don't you go play catch? I know Earl wanted to go play catch, and there's few things that's fun in life is playing catch with your son. Come on, son! It'll be like when I was a kid. We'll go play in the rain. See, Earl was happy. He's like, I want to go play catch. Way to put some clothes on, Super Bowl. <laughs> what t-shirt contest that nobody wanted to see? PJ. He says he's wearing PJs. This the wet p-shirt contest. Ew. Catch my balls, son. Uh-oh. That lady heard me say that. Shut up, Christine. Nads. Ow! Damn it, Earl. This is when he learns that his dad is not very coordinated. <laughs> Ow! When I was your age, Earl, I was not very good at sports. But I pretended to be. I'm good at video games. Ow! I'm going to walk in and have bruises all over me. And Jellyfields will be like, what happened to you? I fell down the stairs. Earl didn't pummel me with a ball. Earl wants to be swung around? Alright, that sounds like fun. Hold up a sec, kid. Uh, how do I do that? Is it play? Tell me we can do that inside the house. No, Super Paul, we're gonna go do that now. Apparently outside in the thunderstorm? Or in the house? I would do it in the house where it's dangerous. You might smash the... They're gonna do it outside where you can get hit by lightning. Sure, why not? Jelly Fields, what are you doing with this home wrecker? Oh, come on, I'm old. I can't walk that far. You just wanna watch your dad die, don't you? I want kisses from ladies. 
from my wife. What the hell's going on? Oh, don't, don't, don't hit the hot tub. Hey, doggy. See you, Butler. Super Paul, that was the worst job ever. <laughs> Super Paul's like, hey, Earl, you want to go outside and get swung around? Earl's like, yeah, I swung around twice and I quit. That's horrible. That's no fun. Sir Ian. Um, Angel Cake is sick. Sir Ian. What the hell is this shit? I mean, this is nice you're being a family man now. Hanging out with your woman. Not that you're married. Hanging out with your child. But we all saw you at the beginning of this episode making out with your co-worker on the front lawn. She's like, oh, daddy, I love you. If only you knew what your daddy was like. He is pretty awesome for the most part, though. Uh, I don't know what you don't like there, Sweet Scented Dream. That was weird. Super Paul, let Sweet Scented Dream Lee sleep. She's like, I want to. He's like, I want to hold my granddaughter too. Man, that's a pretty big storm rolling in. That's the judgment of God, Sir Ian. Oh, apparently, Sweet Scented Dream needed a bath. She needs to sleep too. You hear that, Sir Ian? God is angry with your sinful ways. <laughs> he has judged you, despite the fact you're a judge. Is everybody still sick? I'll admit, I still haven't figured out how to see that they're sick other than when they're hacking. Is it there? No. That's who their bio is. She's a dubious delinquent. What's Super Paul? An amicable acquaintance. Hey, he's worth more than that. An average cabbage. No, Earl is way more than average. Sweet Senate is two. Who haven't we checked out? Angel Cake is an amicable acquaintance. Did I do everybody? I don't remember. Oh, that's the reputation uh, reputation in the neighborhood. So Super Paul's got a good rep, and I forget who the other person was that did. Oh damn it, Super Paul! You're stinging up the damn house again. <laughs> Jelly feels the sick. When are they gonna get better? If she gets enough sleep and doesn't spend too much time standing up, she'll be healthy in no time. Damn it, Angel Cake. Are you in my bed again? This is my bed, girl. Get the hell out. Sir Ian. You cold, heartless man. <laughs> Paranormal Pig was having an emotional breakdown. He's like, yeah, that's nice. Let's look at the newspaper. Oh, GE stocks are up as I'm taking a dump. Oh, man. This house, I swear. How much longer till Sweet Senate becomes... In three days, she'll become a child. Or I should say, enter the child phase of life from toddler. Oh, I thought she was dancing in there. Super Paul, why don't you teach her how to walk, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, I guess Paranormal Penguin's going to do something like that. Oh, let's make more robots! Super Paul's like, I took a shower in one room, now I'm gonna poop in another. That's classy. I think Jelly feels this mad. She was like, I wanted to hold my granddaughter! Then you can always fight Paranormal Penguin. I went, Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. We will call this one, um, Herbert. Super Paul's like, you know what, maybe I should make an army of robots. Then nobody's gonna fuck with me anymore. Not that anybody does right now. He's like, I know, I wish somebody would, especially my wife. I'm horny. Super Paul. I'll take it out on this block. 
Jellyfields is like, I am tired and hungry. Man, life sucks. That's how I was earlier today, too. And then I drank out of a different kind of bottle. <laughs> Serene, so, why don't you and Jellyfield sleep together anymore? I don't say that because I really want you to love on each other. It's because I want my bed back. Did I say Jellyfield or Angel Cake? You and Angel Cake. Super Paul wants his bed back so he can sleep with Jellyfields again. Come on, robot. I want a whole army of you little bastards. Then I can run over everybody in the town that was mean to me. Well, actually, the mean people in the house... Nobody was really mean to Super Paul. Everybody that was mean in this game really came from this house. Super Paul has finished Herbert. How much can we sell this stupid thing for? 120? Fuck that. I'm gonna build a little army. Build another one, Super Paul. Come on. Uh, we will call it Hector. Apparently, I don't know how to type. I just start slapping the keys and hope it works. Honestly, this workbench is more robotic than the robots he's making because it's got the little arm that shoots out the generic block. Man, that's a hell of a storm that's still raging outside. I love it. Oh, this house is a mess. Butler, come home! I need you to butt some more. Well, everybody, that's the end of this episode. We saw some really weird stuff. Who the hell peed in my workshop area? Are you serious? There's no reason to come in here. If somebody came in here and peed, I bet it was Surrey Ian. He's probably like, this is a hilarious joke. Well, everybody, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.